Hi, I read an article in Cosmo S magazine. It was about the big five mass extinctions. What? Extinctions? Yeah, lots of organisms dying? Yep, that's what I was reading about. So, what is a mass extinction? Well, there isn't a precise definition, but in general, one might say that over 75% of all organisms on our planet die. Let's dig a little bit more into this. So what is extinction? That is when an organism, a species of organisms, goes away permanently. They do not return. <laughs> ah! This is to be expected for all organisms, all species on this planet. For mammals in general, we're expecting one species to die out every 200 years. This is our expected background rate of extinction. When there are extinction rates that are higher than that, we might go, wait, something is going on. We might want to take note. Why should we care about lots of organisms dying out, mass extinctions? Hmm. Our journey into understanding this question begins with understanding the five mass extinctions. Five? Yep, there were five. The most recent one happened 66 million years ago. Yeah, this is the one where the dinosaurs died. Boom, asteroid! <laughs> they died because an asteroid hit, but this whole situation was primed by volcanic activity as well as ongoing climate change. Truly, I think that that is the best known example of mass extinctions, but there are more. 200 million years ago, we lost 80% of all organisms. And we don't know why. Previous to that, 251 million years ago, we lost 96% of the organisms on this planet. 96%! No, no, 96% during the great dying. What were the causes for this? Well, the first one is we had volcanism giving off CO2. Also, we had bacteria, methanogens, giving off methane. These are all greenhouse gases causing change. What's more, temperatures were rising and our oceans acidified. Doesn't sound so comfy, does it? No. That's a negative Ghost Rider. They were not clear for life. Two more left. Stick with us. 375 million years ago, we lost 75% of the organisms on Earth. Why? Plants formed. They came around. Their roots went down into the ground. The roots activated nutrients that went into the ocean, causing algal blooms that decreased oxygen in the ocean, causing suffocation of some organisms like trilobites. Our first known mass extinction happened 440 million years ago where we lost 75% of the organisms. This is still a lot. Why did this happen? Well, we attribute it to a global cooling associated with the uplifting, the formation of the Appalachian Mountains. I don't think that the mass extinction story is over yet. Why? Because I heard that we may be part of an ongoing mass extinction today. No kidding, huh? A sixth today, ongoing. So I did a little bit of digging. Since 1900, we've been losing organisms at about 114 times our expected background rate of extinction. If we look at mammals, we're losing them at about 45 times our expected background rate of extinction. Dang, something's going on. In fact, some scientists say that we could lose between 30 to 50% of our known species on this planet over the next century. Is that a mass extinction? Not yet. Previously, we talked about hypotheses for why past mass extinctions happened. Asteroid. <laughs> Volcano. <laughs> Climate change. I don't know how to act that one out. Plate tectonics. <laughs> Organism development. It's clearly not happening to me. What do we think is going on today? Research suggests it's us. With population growth, climate change, introduction of invasive species, pollution, and land use. Whew. We're packing up a wallop. As we move towards the end, can we tail off on a happy note? Let's talk about why it's important that we know all this stuff. 
with mass extinctions is loss of biodiversity. And biodiversity is the backbone of ecosystems and food webs. And we are part of those food webs. Organisms aren't just cute, there are resources like, oh, let's say the plants that give off our oxygen that we breathe. Ain't that interesting how connected we all are? Join us on our next episode.